Oh, Saber Rights again. I am back with some wrist exercises that I promised you in the previous video, my previous message there. Um, when we were talking about the wrist, because we use our hands so much with, with the swords and, and sabers and stuff like that, um, our wrists tend to bear a whole lot of force. Now, sometimes they'll get sore, sometimes you'll get you know, sprains and stuff like that, but um, I see a lot of people kind of doing this intuitively to, to, to stretch out their, their hands and increase range of motion. We don't necessarily want to do that. Um, the reason is, is because this isn't really doing a whole lot. We're just trying to put, just kind of putting pressure on our uh, passive tissues. The better thing to do with our, with our hands when we want to stretch them out is to use our own power. So I will take my hand, hold them like this, up like this. Try to keep the elbow straight, and as you see, you'll have a hard time getting that up here. But it's not necessarily because of flexibility. It might be because of strength in the musculature that controls it. So, there's that. Same thing goes with this. So we want to push out our wrists, keeping our hands nice and light, right? No force in there. And we're just stretching out the top of our wrist there. And then we stretch out the bottom of our wrist there, right? You can increase it by straightening the, the fingers, <clears throat> holding out the hands like this. So back up here a little bit, like that. <clears throat> and so you can see that. Other great wrist exercises include push-ups. If you do them flat-handed, that's a very, very good um, flexibility exercise. If you do them on your fists, that's a really good strengthening exercise as it stabilizes the wrist and, and uh, arm. Um, in the hitting martial arts that I do and other people do, um, we often advocate doing push-ups on, on the fists to keep the fist nice and tight, the wrist nice and aligned so that when we hit something with a whole lot of force, it's not going to come back into our arm and break it. <clears throat> okay, so the other thing we can do is just a simple kind of roll around here and go back and forth. You don't want to overdo any of these either. These are just like little warm-ups. So before you pick up your weapon, kind of go through them, <clears throat> move out your hands here. So a little routine would be something like this. Before you pick up your weapon, <clears throat> you can grab your hands like this, kind of squeeze them together, roll it around just to get them nice and loosened up. <clears throat> Shake them out. Squeeze your fists together. Open them and stretch out those fingers really, really hard. Close them again and try to do that five times really fast. Now that was going out. Now I'm going to come in five times fast. All right? Harder than it looks. <clears throat> you should be feeling it kind of right in here, maybe sometimes in the fingers. Um, we're getting the wrists nice and flexible. We're going to stretch out the top. We're going to come back in, stretch out the bottom. All right. <clears throat> you can bring them here into the middle, push them out to the sides. There. <clears throat> so that's probably a good routine about that long to warm up your wrist. If you do anything more than that, you're going to run the risk of giving yourself an overuse injury just from warming up. So let's not do any of that. All right. Well, stay healthy, stay happy, and happy sabering.